booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. The launch of STS-128 marks a historic event for the UCF Knights. Nicole Stott received her Master's in Engineering Management at UCF, taking classes while working at the Kennedy Space Center. She was selected to be an astronaut in 2000. For her, this mission is a dream come true. Uh, I grew up with a dad who built airplanes. Um, we hung out at the airport a lot. There was the same kind of passion for flying, I think, instilled in me that, that Kevin kind of mentioned. And uh, that led me to an aeronautical uh, engineering degree at school. The crew is delivering 18,000 pounds of equipment to the International Space Station, including Japanese and European experiment modules and the first exercise treadmill. I think the highlight will be the first time we actually get to run on it and um, and that'll be a really good day because then, then like uh, Krister said we have the opportunity then to continue to sustain six people on on station and have healthy crew members up there as well. As a mission specialist Nicole will be teamed on a spacewalk to help remove a used ammonia tank. She'll also stay behind working for three to four months and is designated to be the last astronaut to go up on one shuttle mission and return on the next. I'm totally prepared. You know, we all come into this in the expedition training with the expectation that it could be on, on par or on order of six months. And um, three to four months seems, seems just right. I think uh, my family will be okay with that, and I'll be okay with being away from them for that amount of time. Stott will carry with her up to the space station a few family photos and a UCF pennant to make her feel at home. For UCF Reports, I'm Ed Highland.